Hello and uh, welcome back everyone. So in the last video we created a basic uh, connecting con connection configuration. We got the config and if the config is using variables then we are directly passing the, the variables from the config object. Then otherwise we are just passing the db username password and the config object. Okay. Now what I'm talking about you need to read this current working directory for all the model files. So right now in the model I have index.js but you may have like persons.js or users.js So in this you will define the another person model so this is a connecting configuration here you need to read all the files in the current working directory and we are doing the filter and we are checking okay if the file is in the base and file has the extension .js then we are looping on to them using for each loop and we are doing the we are running the sequelizing port on all of them and we are registering them onto the db object as a model okay so it's nothing but uh, we are just uh, putting all the each and every schema model file and after creating the sequelize model so first we will write a person .js then we are importing it here okay and then we are assigning that to the db uh, global object and finally we are associating the doing the association with the db object okay finally db dot sequelize is equal to sequelize Okay, and we just need to module dot export so now we can import we can import this db everywhere and we can just extract out that model because all the models are registered here uh, by reading the current directory and you can just run the operation so so you will define the schema model we are importing everything here and then exporting it from here so just import the model because it has index.js it will import everything and then you can just uh, do whatever you wanted to do with individual schema model okay now let's uh, write the persons.js so there are different ways of uh, writing it because here I will be just uh, specifying uh, the, the column and attributes in that uh, sequence okay here uh, okay it should be the data type which we are importing okay here you define your uh, model sequelize and dot define so you uh, pass your table name which you wanted to create after that here uh, your, your complete model object I mean your fields you will define here okay so let's first name is like uh, I'm putting name all the properties of name you will put it here first is a type which is a the data type data types dot uh, it should be a string you can use some intelligence uh, tool which will give you everything while writing the code otherwise your speed will be like uh, whatever I'm doing right now allow null equal to true and you can also do so here we are actually writing the model so for now I will just uh, create a two columns first is this and uh, so I'm just having the the bugger name sorry person name and so this table has only one field 
there is no primary key so we will keep adding all, the, all those things uh, when we talk about them okay and here we just uh, return the person object so that's it if you have any other column like name if you wanted to have email as another property then you can define it here the type is data types and dot string okay allow null I'm just making it false because it's a property I which I want okay so this is actually I created a person model and I be already importing it in this schema model file or we are importing it and then doing it okay so this is how we are making the connection from config.js here just pass your correct uh, db configuration so in the next video we will see how this connection is making progress